Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to the new FQ777 model. This is the uh, new version of the Pocket 124C Mini. So uh, I reviewed some months ago uh, the first uh, edition of this model and now they upgrade a little bit of the uh, model by including a 2 megapixel camera uh, filming in 720p. So let's open the box. Okay, so uh, here is the new uh, version. Uh, first of all, the belly uh, is a little bit increased uh, to welcome a battery bay, uh, offering the capacity to answer the, to remove the LiPo. It's a pretty good news to have a removable LiPo features. And now the one SLUS LiPo ending with a micro uh, mini GST connector, 1.5, 25 millimeters. Uh, it's a 200 milliamps power model, no discharge rate. Be aware of the polarity of the LiPo is inverted for the uh, GST connector, so don't mix uh, this LiPo with some other model with the same connector. So uh, you can easily remove it when turn it, uh, connect it, okay. And other good news, you have a power switch on the right side. The uh, left side welcome the micro SD card slot where a 4 GB card is provided. It's a pretty good news. On front you will find the lens of the 720p camera. It's an M5 model so pretty pretty narrow with a field of view uh, very limited to 70 degrees in my uh, point of view. Uh, all the props are wide. Uh, it would have been great to at least to have two different types of color for front and rear. Uh, it would help to keep orientation. In terms of LEDs, I will turn on, uh, you have uh, red LEDs on front, blue and red, a small white one on front would have been also a great positive point to keep uh, your orientation when your, uh, your nano is far. And uh, the weight of this machine, okay, even with the presence of the 720p camera, the extra uh, 2 milliamps per hour uh, LiPo is not so amazing. Uh, uh, AV, it's just 18 grams, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, just three or four grams more than a classic nano, but with a larger battery and the 720p uh, camera in board, so it's pretty cool. And the flying duration are also pretty good. You can expect six minutes at least while recording. It's a very, very good news. Uh, one of the main features of this uh, FQ77 model for most of them is the possibility to transport inside the radio your nanos or your basic exa uh, copter. So just need to install it like this and well, you will be able to transport everything and uh, with the battery installed, the 4 AA battery, uh, this box uh, weighs 232 grams so ideal for your uh, uh, lunch break at office or whatever when it's very rainy uh, in the airport and the train station if you want to train. Um, so you need to answer two AA battery here but you will need to tie the screw to completely lock the battery bay and another two here, two AA uh, battery here. Any MH battery are working that's the good news. So you have the basic stick here so by default it comes with the sim edition. You can remove them, them and install some stick extender if you are more uh, uh, prefer to uh, uh, control with your uh, fingers okay uh, if you are a sunburn, uh, you can just leave this one like this uh, the right trim button are used for trimming okay forward backward left and right and here more for control so for example here is to engage the headless the return to home photos and camera a video triggering so to turn on off the video recording button are pretty uh, small tiny so maybe a little bit hard to uh, uh, touch to reach uh, with the large hand uh, 
the, la on the, the two sticks can be pressed on, it, on them. So for example, if you press on the left stick, you can cycle between the two spin modes, okay? And if you press on the right stick, you can activate the flips then indicate in which direction you want to flip. Uh, the rear side will come be uh, uh, another uh, bay where the prop guard can be uh, stored as well as the bag with the spare element. For example, you have eight, um, sorry, eight spare props. It's pretty good. The stick extender, a battery strap, the tick strap. Okay, so just need to install like this, and you will be able to uh, to fix your quadcopter mainly. A power switch for the radio. You have the possibility to charge with the transmitter your internal LiPo. It's a very a good idea when you are far from an outlet, a socket outlet, to recharge your all quadcopter. You can, thanks to the four AA batteries. It will take approximately 30 minutes to recharge the uh, built-in 200 uh, milliamps power of LiPo. So when you turn on the transmitter, just two basic uh, color, okay? To have the quadcopter, you will have to push up and down like classic. So um, let's uh, turn on the quadcopter. Um, so I will bind the quadcopter. You have a solid LED, but to harm definitively, you have to press up and down, and then you can control the quadcopter. To calibrate the gyros, you have to push the bow stick in lower left position. In theory. Yes, and you have a fast uh, LED flashing, okay? And the headless in the uh, um, lower right, and the beep is emitted, okay? So you can uh, tune both gyros and the headless reference. Um, when you activate the video recording, so this lower button, you have the uh, rear blue LEDs flashing, okay? And the front stop to blink. And as soon as you release, it will be like this. The headless mode, you have fast flashing LEDs, okay? So you can be wrong. And when the LBC alarm comes, um, all uh, the LEDs are flashing slowly. Uh, one word about the 720p camera, it's an excellent, really beautiful mod, uh, model. The uh, images are crisp and precise, color rendition pretty good, okay? And it's a really a 30 frames per second. I really I was impressed by this uh, 720p camera. It's a pretty good model for such um, a nano uh, uh, quadcopter. Well, I'm dreaming one day to have an M5 a wide lens to transform this uh, nano into a very uh, not so bad video platform. It would be a, a, a dream to have such a M5 uh, wide lens. Okay, so uh, a lot of positive points for this machine. Good flying duration. Uh, let's talk about the flying characteristics. Uh, the yaw rate are a little bit fast for the two uh, speed mode, the beginner and expert mode. Uh, it means that you really need to uh, control carefully uh, the rudder command, okay? Uh, be aware to have precise uh, turn and banking. Um, in fast expert mode, it's fast but not amazing. But it's fighting well the, the wind. Good news for Nano, I was positively surprised. The control range also is pretty good. Uh, 30 meters out of the box without any problems. I was not able to bind this quad capture with some former existing FQ777, at least a former edition, the 124C. Uh, they changed the protocol between this, the, the original model with the revision. It's uh, for me always a drawback when uh, a company changed the radio protocol. Okay, so except these are uh, uh, well, some three or four con points, unicolor uh, props are um, uh, the new radio protocol. Okay, no presence of frontal uh, LEDs to keep your orientation in loss condition. Uh, except these three uh, points. Uh, really, I was impressed by this uh, Nano. Good flying characteristics, uh, agile, uh, powerful, good flying duration, more than six minutes, as said. Uh, very good 720p camera module, okay. And uh, uh, I will turn off. And uh, really, I was in a good radio range out of the box. Um, the, um, I like the possibility to remove and install a new fresh battery when you want to uh, play again with your cat capture. That's uh, pretty uh, uh, good. 
Okay, so I hand this unboxing and quick analysis. Please check my orders video. I will also post some raw or video footage of the 720p camera. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please thumb it. And if you like my channel in general, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.